Hey, it's Martin here. Uh, as you can see, I'm not currently in London. I'm actually in Bilbao in Spain. That's the Guggenheim Museum behind me, just in case you didn't know. I know what you're thinking, weren't you just in Europe only a few weeks ago? Yes, that's right. More content to come about that on my channel. This is a holiday though, that was work. But even though I'm on holiday, I never stopped thinking about physics. And I got thinking about the question of why do the Spanish always eat so much later than say other places like in the UK or in America? And I may have an answer which is to do with science. Now, while I'm used to having my lunch at about 12.30 in the afternoon and then dinner, say about 7, 7.30, that's not what happens in Spain because they take a siesta uh, and don't eat lunch until usually about two, maybe even three o'clock and then dinner. No way does that happen before eight, usually more like nine or 10 p.m. And so people say that that's usually because of that cultural difference, for having that siesta in the middle of the day. But maybe there's something to do with time zones as well. So time zones were introduced as a way of sort of standardizing the day with respect to the hours of sunlight for everyone across the globe. The idea being that the sun should on average rise at 6 a.m reach its peak at around 12 noon and then set at 6 p.m. Now, of course, because the Earth's rotational axis is tilted with respect to its orbital plane, the ecliptic, that means we get seasons and so it actually changes throughout the year. But on average, it works out. Time zones are essentially sort of worked out approximately by the number of degrees of longitude away you are from the Greenwich Meridian, which is the line that goes from the North Pole to the South Pole through Greenwich in London. And so the standard time is Greenwich Mean Time and everything else comes from that. But the actual time zones that we use aren't as perfect as that. They're changed depending on the country and who they work with. It's a bit of a mess from a scientific point of view. But we can use a more scientific definition of the local time. Just take your precise longitude, divide it by 15 degrees and times it by an hour. And that's the offset from the current time in Greenwich that you should use. We do this all the time in my field of space physics, where local time no longer really takes the meaning of the time, because for that we use coordinated universal time, essentially the modern day version of Greenwich Mean Time. No, local time now is a measure of the position relative to the sun. So the question is, what is that position for Spain? What is the Spanish longitude? Well, the majority of Spain is between seven degrees west and zero degrees longitude. So not enough for an hour's shift. It should really be in the same time zone as the UK to the nearest hour. But Spain is in Central European time, means it's GMT plus one. So it's an hour, an hour and a half, out from the real solar time. When you factor in daylight savings time as well, that can be up to two, two and a half hours wrong. So while the Spanish may have their lunch when their clocks say two, according to the sun, it should be more like one o'clock or in the case of summer, 12 noon. And similarly, in the evening, nine, 10 o'clock becomes anywhere between seven and nine, far more reasonable hours 